Inside investigation, scanning in solitary. Not even isolation could stop this smooth talking schemer. The con man, eight on your side, has been chasing for months, is at it again. Robert Fletcher is already facing numerous charges of fraud and theft for his various business schemes. And he may have just reached a new low. <laughs> Investigative reporter Mark Douglas is here now to tell us what Fletcher has been up to. Hard to believe this story, Mark. <laughs> to give you some context, this is a guy that one fraud victim calls the Lion King. <laughs> and we just found out he's still wheeling and dealing even while awaiting trial under solitary confinement at the Pinellas County Jail. It's no wonder they call him the Lion King. I got 10 grand cash. I'm all set for the deal. There's no exception. There's no problems. The trouble is Robert Fletcher's business deals have plenty of problems. That's why he's behind bars awaiting trial on four counts of fraud and 15 other crimes. Back in August, Fletcher landed in solitary confinement after using a jailhouse phone to scam his cellmate's mother. Listen, the righteous people always provide. Always. Gotta know that. Thank you. Now, former inmate Tyler Inglis tells me he's Fletcher's latest jailhouse patsy. I thought it was a gift. Inglis insists he was also in the solitary slammer when Fletcher worked his wiles on him by chatting through the air vent. I thought we were really, really, really good friends. Inglis insists Fletcher flim flammed him with the false promise of musical fame. Music is my life. And roped him in with dreams of riches. If anything happens to me, you will inherit $10 million over your lifetime. Robert Fletcher was offering you millions in cash, round the world tickets for your family, yeah. college educations for your brothers, classic cars. Yeah, life insurance policies. I mean, just everything. Told me, told me my family would never have anything to worry about ever again. English showed me contracts he claims Fletcher secretly passed between their solitary cells. Contracts Fletcher signed under penalty of perjury. In return, Inglis kept the penniless con man well stocked with canteen goods, including a whole lot of Twix bars that Inglis says he wrapped in a sheet and slid to Fletcher's cell to seal their deal. He said Twix is his favorite candy bar. That's a soft spot, huh? Yeah, Twix. Yeah. Hope he never gets another Twix. Now, I've tried a dozen times to get Fletcher to talk to us about his investment pitches, but now maybe we've stumbled on just the thing to sweeten the deal and get him to come around. So, who knows? So Whatever it takes. those candy bars, <laughs> what else was he hoping to get out of this deal well, with Inglis? According to Inglis, he was trying to get a new lawyer. Now, the irony is he's got a really good private lawyer. In fact, he even has a private investigators, all paid for by taxpayers. The rest of us. That's a sweet deal. I don't know why he wants a new lawyer. Oh, from mm -hmm. isolation even. All right, thank you, Mark. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I'm just going to Yeah, there's a free. Here, you can each get one. All right. <laughs> well,